Okay, well this is back to the uh, Nathan Stubblefield uh, battery, the earth battery uh, that uh, Nathan Stubblefield was granted a patent on back in 1898, and that's patent number 600457, a called electrical battery. And this is the earth battery that you bury in the ground and you pick up uh, magnetic waves or whatever and it causes um, the battery to produce electricity. And it's got three windings. The three windings on the, on the battery are an iron and a copper that are wound together, separated layer by layer by cotton cloth. On the outer layer, it is a secondary of copper wire insulated from the inner two wires. There's an iron core down the middle on basically a wooden ended type of coil. And that's the original picture of what it looked like and the patent um, picture that uh, goes with the patent. Now I tried to replicate this and I got as close as I could but what drove me to do this project was Laser Saber's uh, project where he did this out of the ground and was able to get this coil to magnetize the core and create a pulse motor. And I have tried to replicate his setup and uh, the best I can. Basically there's a reed switch here that as these magnets go by it triggers the inner coil which energizes the outer coil which is going to light up those LEDs. Now the problem I've got for some reason I did not build this correctly or something is wrong because I cannot get that coil to produce enough electricity to make this happen. I have to augment it with a battery and the way these are connected over here at the end, I'm not sure that's right either. But anyway, I just wanted to show folks that are interested in the Stubblefield project uh, where I'm at with this right now. And uh, it does work somewhat. Kind of like the laser saber deal. And there's uh, the back EMF that I'm pumping off of the drive coil. And there's the uh, LEDs lit up off of the secondary winding here. This is the outer winding on the stubble field coil. That's this outer one here. It's on the very outside of the coil here. And what's driving my little device here is one of these inside coils. It's the copper coil. And I do have it connected to the iron core on one leg and one leg is open. And anyway, I just want to show folks that uh, this is where I'm at with this uh, stubble field project is a um, somewhat replication of laser, laser Saber's uh, design. It's just a very simple rotor on a pin. Very, very simple with a reed switch to activate it. And then um, it's just a pulse motor. But it's demonstrating this um, secondary coil which uh, Gina wanted me to try to see if that made any difference. It didn't make any difference as far as the battery part of this was concerned. So I don't know um, if that's going to help anybody or not. This is another part here too. Uh, this is back EMF that's causing that LED to light up right there. And when the reed switch uh, snaps shut, or snaps open actually, um, it energizes a back spike in the drive coil which shoots a, a, a back spike which is into that LED going back into the plus rail. So anyway, I just want to share that with people that that's where I am at with this double field project. I am not having success. Uh, basically all I have here is a pulse motor and uh, there's nothing, absolutely nothing unusual about what you're seeing right here. And I'm getting absolutely no magnetism any way I connect these wires without attaching a separate battery to that system. Anyway, that's the latest for today. Thanks for watching. Any tips uh, I would or suggestions, I'm open to anything at this point. Thank you.